Hi there, hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go to the malls and see what sneakers are sitting in store at this time in December. And let me just tell you now, a lot of Jordan 1 Bordeaux's and I'm honestly pretty happy about that. We got some really good finds and let's get started. So first thing I spotted, I was actually really surprised that these were just sitting in store. Uh, it is the Koss, Sakai and Nike Blazer Low in this blue colorway. The double laces are done in that blue and green color. It's got a light blue and yellow swoosh. And I honestly think that this one, out of the four colorways, is probably the best looking one. And here they are available in North Swarm. Women's sizes though. Speaking of women's release, the Air Jordan 5 Bluebird was available in the Nike store. I've actually never seen them in store, and um, I think it's a beautiful looking shoe with a nice suede on it. And here we have the newly released Jordan 11 Animal Instinct. I, um, I don't know, I'm not a fan of these, but the animal print on the mudguard does stand out, so if you care about them, here they are. And then moving on to Foot Locker, I spotted the new colorway of the Adidas Trey Young One in this peach tree colorway. It's a very nice looking orange throughout the entire shoe. It's got a little bit of green on the tags, and um, this is one that Trey Young wore during the playoffs, and I think if you wear them on court, the color will really pop. All sold out on the Adidas app and website somehow. And then, like I said, the Jordan 1 Bordeaux are just sitting and available everywhere. They probably made a lot of pairs of these, and it was honestly a good thing. And got a few mids here. And back to the Bordeaux, I just want to say that if you are a fan of Jordan 1s and you like this colorway, it's definitely time to get them now. Just like the Midnight Navies released last year, you don't want to wait for a few months just for the price to go up. And then a pair that I picked up for myself, looking at the box, you probably know already, is the Under Armour Curry Knight. On their website, the first two colorways were both sold out. They were um, collaborations with Sesame Street. As you can see, when I open the box, there's a sticker that they gave you. And I can already tell that they're going to be a very good pair of basketball shoes. From the look of it, very similar to the Curry 8. So I'm expecting some upgrades. I mean, the cushioning setup and the traction was already great. I don't know how you think, but this model really gives me uh, Payless shoes vibes. But hey, if it works, if it performs well, then by all means, this is probably going to be a good pickup. If you do want to see a video on these, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that on YouTube, there's a lot of channels that have done performance reviews of these already. The shoes feel very light, which is very important for me. So those I think were some of the best sneakers that you can get in stores in December. And here are some of the other ones. The Jordan 5 Raging Bulls were on sale, but very few sizes. Another one that sold out initially on Nike was the Air Force One Halloween. It's got a very nice and soft tumble leather and the entire upper is reflective. They do glow in the dark. So if you like Air Force Ones, these are definitely a decent option. And then Jordans from the fall season, they had the Jordan 1 Mid 10 Gum, the Jordan 3 Pine Green, and the Jordan 5 Oreo, and then also the Jordan 12 Royalty, which is basically the new version of the taxis. And the brand new LeBron 19s are available in men's sizes now. I do want to apologize because when I did the video, it was a great school pair that I got, and I really didn't realize how heavy these are. These are really heavy and chunky. Shouldn't be a surprise though, since they are a LeBron shoe. And just a few days ago, I actually did go to the Nike outlet, but didn't really find anything good, so I just thought I'd put it at the end here. What you're basically going to see is a bunch of basketball shoes that are on sale, and to be honest, those sales aren't even that good. Most of them are like 25% off. They do have the Adapt BB 2.0s, which are extremely expensive, I don't really get it, but they do have the Kyrie 8, which hasn't really released yet. This is the N7 colorway, which comes out pretty much every year. Who knows, maybe Kyrie would just never play in the NBA again. And if I was Nike, honestly, with all that stuff that he said about his signature shoes being ugly or trash, I'd probably just end the contract with him. And yeah, basically a bunch of basketball shoes. I would only consider them a good deal if they're like about 50% off after all the discounts. See some LeBrons, Zoom Freak 2s, more Zoom Freak 2s, Kyrie Lows, Kyrie 7s, a bunch of Kyrie Flight Traps. They're going for $70 plus an additional 20% off. So it comes down to about $56 Canadian or an equivalent of $45 US. I would consider these a pretty good deal if you need some basketball shoes for the outdoors. 
PG4s, not even a good price. Might as well get the PG5s right next to it for the same price. Yeah, so really not much from the Nike outlet. At the end, I did find this pair of Air Max 95s going for only about $50 after all the discounts. I did also go to the ASIC store and found two pairs of the Gel Light 3s, which is probably one of my favorite shoes of all time. These two are very nice and crispy colors, one in that green and one in this light melon color. Both have a nice suede material on them, and if I was to recommend you a pair of walking shoes, these are my number one option. And lastly, Puma Outlet, a bunch of artist dreamers are in stores now, going for 90 bucks, and then I did get another 25% off, so that was actually a really sweet deal. Obviously, I went with the first colorway that came out. I remember when they first released, it was really hard to get for some reason. And now just look at how good the stock is in the outlet store. So that's it for this video. Pretty much all you will see in stores as of now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.